thank you so much for joining me for this video. So today we will be going over the May 2019 Simply Gilded sub box. And as you can tell, the theme of it is called Mayflowers. So we've got some beautiful pink and some flowers, some little bees, and it looks like everything in here is going to be silver foiled. So let's just jump right in. I know there was a little bit of a delay with this box. Um, I think that one of the washi tapes was uh, not what was supposed to have come in maybe. I don't really know, but I do know that there was a slight delay with this box, but um, if you have not received yours yet, you should be getting it very soon. So I'm just gonna get everything out. First thing I want to talk about is I really like the colors in this. I love pinks. I love gray. I think this is going to be a very pretty, pretty, pretty box. So y'all know the drill. We're going to go through everything one by one. So let's just hop right in. So the first thing I saw here was this beautiful pen that matches the box. So you've got the flowers, the beautiful baby pink. It's got some bees on it. And then like with all the pins that she has been sending out lately, she does have it to where you can put the cap on top, which is something I really like. And then um, the ink should be the same beautiful smooth black gel. Don't mind my nails. I just took my dip powder off and um, my nails are a little bit ragged right now. The next thing that we've got here is, let's see, what is this? What is this? Maybe, oh, it's a magnet. So it's her cute little bear. It's a magnet and it's got rose gold hardware. And the way that this magnet works, you just stick it wherever you would like. Super cute. I love her little juniper and I love her bear. Look at the back packaging that, that came with. That is gorgeous. Definitely think I'm going to keep that. Probably just snip that in there. Put that somewhere. That's beautiful. Next thing we have here is the sticky notes. So this one's a little bit different. You've got some ladybugs on it, silver foil, gray with the white to write on, and this cute little vine with the ladybugs. Really like that. And then we've got this textured corner pocket, which is something that I've actually never seen. And I really like the look of this. It's very, very pretty. It looks like leather. And then we've got this beautiful bee in silver foil. So I can't really attest to the quality, but um, I would say for sure be careful with this because it's a faux leather and it's very thin. So I would just say be very careful with whatever you put in here. I wouldn't pack it too far or else it could rip. But such a cool idea. This, this is the first box that we've ever had that has we've been given a pocket like this. Now we have had adhesive pockets in the past, but this is something entirely different. That's really, really cool. I love that. Very pretty. And then we've got the foil journaling card. That beautiful design there. It's got a spray of flowers with a bee, bee leaf. Love that dusky kind of a really light purple. Ooh, that's pretty. I love that. And then, oh, this is different. So normally we have gotten the um, 
the pocket TN inserts. Well, here she has switched it up and given us a B6 size, which if y'all have been around my channel for any length of time, y'all know that B6 Traveler's Notebook size is my jam. I love the B6 size. And I've tried several different sizes, but this is for sure my favorite. So it's saddle stitch on the back. So it should lay flat. You shouldn't have any problems with it, um, with it really coming undone unless you're super hard with it. But it's just blank pages on the inside. And then the front, it has those beautiful flowers, gray background, honey. And then the suite is silver foil. And then it's got simply gilded on the back in silver foil. Paper quality doesn't seem to be bad. It seems kind of like a normal computer paper. So I would definitely say that Sharpies and fountain pens would probably go through, probably bleed through, but regular pens, I think, would definitely fare well in this. I love that she added this size. Um, this is a really, really beautiful insert. Next, we've got the silver foiled bow seals in all kinds of different colors that coordinate with the box beautifully. So we've got kind of a mocha color and then different shades of pinks and light purples, some grays. This one's kind of like a greenish gray, kind of a sage, I guess, and then yellow. And then here we have got the sticker sheets. I really need to get on using my uh, sticker sheets because I'm telling you I've got a hoard of them from <laughs> I've got months worth of boxes that I'm just holding on to the sticker sheets so here are the Lux sticker sheets that will fit Erin Condren size boxes, but you could also use them for Happy Planner. Just know that the height of the boxes will not fit um, exactly to your Happy Planner. There will be some uh, leftover, but the width of them should be perfect for Happy Planner. So beautiful. We've got uh, three here and then five on this one for your full boxes. Got plenty of headers, deco, flags, dots. Um, looks like these were cut correctly, so you don't have to worry about having to cut any of these. I do see cut marks on them. Got some cute little bows, checklists. Very pretty colors. Very muted, but very summery. So we've got those and then the smaller sticker sheet has got uh, juniper with different shades of dresses and then you've also got different I guess skin tones for juniper or could we really call it like fur tones different colors of hair <laughs> so those are very cute with silver foil and then we've got this beautiful pouch and it's not like her normal canvas. This one is a very smooth texture. Silver hardware. And here will be our washi tapes. Oh, definitely don't wanna drop those. The inside of the pouch is this beautiful, like a mauve purple, very dusty color. And my dogs are playing. Is that part of the design? I guess it is. Yeah, beautiful little pouch. And then finally, we have got all of the washi tapes. And just as a disclaimer, I do get the additional washi tape set. Ooh, vertical bows. Love it. So this is what you get with the regular box. And we'll go through all of those. So this top one here is gonna match. Um, not exactly, it's not the same exact color pink, but once you lay it down, it might be. 
um, because this is going to be a little bit more of a transparent washi so once you stick it on white paper it could very well be the same shade as the pouch but I'm not entirely sure but you've got that beautiful pink background with your flowers and then your bees and their wings are silver foiled and then the next one we've got a variation of her very popular stardust with silver and rose gold foil and this is kind of a yellowish gold color oh actually I see some holographic in there see that yeah this is a hollow and rose gold very pretty color this one I love because it's got that silver bee and flower look to it same as the journaling card here gray background and it's gonna be a very transparent because you can see the designs underneath that one's gonna look awesome and then we've got a silver foil kind of a peachy color very light peach color may end up being more of a nude once you set it on your page and then the final 10 millimeter one has got a script font on it and it looks like it might be different variations of color. I'm seeing a little bit of a yellowish and a little bit of pink gray. This one's probably gonna be a multicolored one. But some of the script says you are beautiful. Uh, you are a beautiful blossom. Turn over a new, oh, turn over a new something. And then this is where it ends and it says, I guess bring forward but yeah very cool silver foil and then these um, we've got kind of that sage-ish green a silver yellow and pink all silver foil vertical bows I love that she's switching up these five millimeter ones because um, I actually prefer the vertical bows as opposed to the horizontal especially for these very skinny washies so that is the washi collection I did not I, I will be perfectly honest I did not look whatsoever at any of the sneak peeks for this box I think I briefly saw a box today on the BST but I had no idea what was inside. Um, overall, I think this box is beautiful. I love that she did this particular color scheme. Like I said, I really love like the dusty purple here, the light pink here, the light gray, all that. So for me, it's a lot more usable than the more um, super bright rainbow things that sometimes come in our boxes. Typically, she keeps it pretty pastel but um, occasionally she'll throw some rainbow in there. But anyway, this is everything for the May box. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, as for other sub boxes, I think I'm gonna film a separate video just kind of discussing like, I guess overall thoughts about the sub boxes that I've gotten in the past. I think that'd be a really cool thing to do, maybe just to kind of help y'all um, maybe decide, like give just a general overview of all the sub boxes that I've gotten. Ones that I'm currently subscribed to, ones that I'm not subscribed to anymore. But yeah, um, definitely we'll have to do a little bit of research on that and just kind of give my opinions on all of that. So that's just kind of something that I've been thinking about and think I may end up doing. So yes. Anyway, if you like this box, let me know down below. Are you a subscriber to Simply Gilded? What do you think? Um, is this your first box? How long have you been subscribed? I've personally been subscribed since the second box came out. So um, I have gotten every single box except for the first one. And I've been overall very pleased with Simply Gilded. So anyway, thank y'all again for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
If you would like to see future videos, please hit subscribe. I would love to have you over here. And other than that, I will talk to y'all later. Bye, everybody.